In this video, I'm going to show you extremely useful tips, tricks, and hidden features from Unit 12 that will upgrade your experience with Xiaomi phones. Like how to upgrade your Xiaomi phone to iOS, how to make your Xiaomi perform faster and smoother, advanced tools for troubleshooting, and so much more. So without further ado, let's start! If you own your Xiaomi smartphone for a while and you want something new and fresh, well, you don't need to break your bank account to buy a new smartphone. Let's say you can make your Xiaomi look like iOS completely for free. The first option is to use Teams. Go to Settings, press on Teams, in the search bar type iOS, and you will receive a very nice selection to choose from. This Teams provides iOS-style dock, icons, styled font and messages apps, settings, widgets for the home screen and the lock screen, official iOS wallpaper, which provides fresh look to the phone, and overall great user experience. These themes are really cool. But if you want to take this even much further, then I recommend you downloading iOS 15 Launcher. This launcher provides the actual functionality of iOS. iOS 15 Launcher is stable and highly customizable. Yes, you will need to invest some time to set it up accordingly to your needs. But when it's done, you have real iOS experience from your Xiaomi. I love the smooth animation and all the details that provide experience of iOS. Also, you can add cool features like iOS Control Center and Assistive Touch that helps operating phone much faster. If you want to buy a second-handed smartphone and make sure there is no malfunctions, or if you own smartphone for a while and you're experiencing some issues, then this hidden feature unlocks must-have tools for high-end troubleshooting. Go to Settings, press About Phone, choose All Specs, and press Kernel Version 5 times. It will open up menu where you can test every piece of hardware inside your Xiaomi. For example, testing out components like Bluetooth, GPS, and speakers. Testing if the colors are displayed well across the screen, if the touch panel works properly, and so much more. And that allows efficiently recognizing the exact problem and taking care of it appropriately. The fact is that over time, every smartphone becomes slow and sluggish. And this hiding feature makes Xiaomi so much more efficient with the resources management. Go to Settings. Press About Phone, tap the new version until you receive message that the developer mode is unlocked. Now go back to Settings, press Additional Settings and choose Developer Options. Choose Background Process Limits. This setting tells the operating system to stop processes in the background of unused application to avoid usage of unnecessary resources. I will suggest choosing between 3 to 5 processes. Also, speed up all animation to 0.5x. That will make Xiaomi much more responsive. Let me know in the comments down below if you use this tip and if this was helpful for you. If you want to keep YouTube playing in the background while the screen is off, then this hidden feature makes it possible. Go to Settings, press on Special Features, choose Video Toolbox and make sure that the Video Toolbox and the Video Toolbox shortcuts are turned on. I recommend keeping the shortcut located on the left side of the screen. Choose Manage Video Apps and select YouTube. Open YouTube and you will see on the left side of the screen a white strap. From now on, every time you want to play YouTube on background, press on Play Video Sound with Screen Off. With the older version of firmware, you could split the screen with two apps. But with the newer version of firmware, you have loading window. But if you're not a big fan of loading window, the great news is you can bring back the split screen feature. Go to settings, press additional settings, choose gesture shortcut, press on the button shortcut, go to any button of your choice and set it to open split screen. Activate the button shortcut you chose and the split screen is activated. 
The best part is you can adjust the size of the window. And now you can take advantage of the floating window and the split screen according to your needs. You probably noticed that the built-in apps of Xiaomi, like the file manager, the installation window, theme, cleaner, and so much more, displaying ads all the time. Even when you access the folders of your apps, you're receiving recommended apps. But the great news is you can disable these ads easily. Open the built-in app of your choice, press on settings, and turn off recommendations or show apps. Sometimes this setting is hidden inside a bout. To disable recommended apps advertised from the folders of your apps, enter to folder, press on the name of the folder, and turn off today's recommendation. Now you can make your phone free from ads as much as possible. If you love playing games, then you can boost your gaming experience. Go to settings, choose special features, Click on Game Turbo, press on the plus button to add all the games you're playing. And from now on, when you open games, they will open up in Turbo mode, which boosting Wi-Fi performance, allocates efficiently CPU, GPU, and the rest of the system resources in favor of the games. Another cool thing, when swapping right from the left corner of the screen, you have access to panel of the game turbo. You can clear memory to make the game even more smoother. You can enable D&D mode, disable notifications during the playtime, and of course you can record and make screenshots of your gaming sessions and share with your friends. How cool is that? If you use to take multiple screenshots to capture recipe or any other piece of content, then from now on you can capture everything you want just in one screenshot. Choose the content that you want to capture and press on the low volume and the power button. Go to screenshot window and press on scroll. Now all the content below is recorded. You can stop the screenshot at any point by pressing on done. When you open the gallery, you have a long screenshot that you can edit and use. The long screenshot works perfectly with Mi Browser, WhatsApp, YouTube, Instagram, and so on. But what about Chrome, Gmail, Google Docs, and etc? Most of Google apps don't support long screenshot, and I want to show you how to get around this issue. To get long screenshot from Chrome, go to Settings, press Share, and choose Long Screenshot. Now you can choose where is the start of the screenshot and where is the end of it. When it comes to Google Docs and Gmail, easiest way to take long screenshots without using third-party apps is to go to Settings, press Print, and from Printing Display, capture the long screenshot. If your family and your friends have access to your smartphone and as a result you want to protect your personal information, then Xiaomi has awesome security feature. Go to Settings, press on Apps, and choose App Lock. Activate App Lock, set your password, and now choose the app with the sensitive information you want to protect. You can choose how the App Lock should apply. So go back to the settings and choose lock settings. I recommend choosing when the device is locked or after exiting the app. So even after you use the app and you left it activated in the background, you are still required to enter the password to receive access to the app. So if somebody tries to access your information, you are totally protected. How many times happened to you that you set your smartphone on silent or DND mode and you forgot to disable them? And as a result, nobody can reach you and you missed important phone calls. So we definitely don't want to repeat those situations anymore. So when you're setting your phone on silent or DND mode, press on three dots to activate the countdown for these modes. You can set it up to eight hours. And after the countdown has expired, your phone will return automatically to its normal state. To learn how to install UE13 on older models of Xiaomi phones, watch the next video.